Okay, so... Wait a minute. Oh, oh, we've got a couple things now. Hey, you want to know something? These days, there's a lot of scary monsters roaming around Midgar, I heard. A guy who came from Calm told me. He said he travels all over the world, but he says he's never seen as many monsters as he has around Midgar. Interesting. I'm still assuming that something about, like, the Mako reactors and all that stuff is, like, drawing out the monsters. It was something that, like, was never quite confirmed or really even denied, at least from everything I saw in the, um, the original. And, I guess, in the remake and other games. But I still kind of assume that that's the case. Welcome, friend! We have all the items you'll ever need. For a limited time only, we have an exquisite perfume for sale. An ideal gift for that special someone. How about it, sir? Just 300 gil. Um... I don't know, Aerith, you want some perfume? <laughs> How's this? Usually the price is 300 gil, but... This cheaper fragrance, when blended with a fine rose oil, can be turned into quite a posh fragrance as well. Want to try blending? Um... Uh, you know what? Why not? Why not? I like the cut of your jib, sir. Okay, let me explain the blending process. Operate the oil spout to match the optimal amount of oil that the clerk specifies to create the perfect fragrance. Uh, drip one drop, drip drip two drops, splash ten drops. Stop the blending when you think you have reached the optimal amount. A to stop blending. Okay. The amount of oil you need for this perfume is this much. 28 drops. Make sure you count the drops that drip down. Okay. Are you ready to begin blending? Sure. Open the oil spout. Uh, one, wait. All right. Good job, <laughs> sir. It smells even cheaper than before. It needs a lot more oil. Now, adding the oil that you used... Uh... The price comes out to this. Thank you for shopping! Come oh. again! Okay. Here, Aerith. This is for you. A little present. Thank you. Okay, I'll take a little sniff. It's a very distinctive smell. That didn't go very well. <laughs> All right. I was going to say, I'm assuming we're going to end up giving it to air. Oh, wait, can we do that again? 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29. Wait, no, I said stop. All right. Wait, that was Good way job, over. Sir. Well, it's passable, I guess. Now, adding the oil that you use, the price... Thank you for... Here, Aerith. This is for you. Thank you. Thank you, Zach. <laughs> it's better than I expected. You're very welcome. Huh. I guess it was okay. It was a few drops over, but I don't think we could actually like, stop it in time. So... I have no idea. <laughs> I'm not gonna worry about it too much, though. Ugh, damn it. Stupid delivery service. There's materia missing again. They must have dropped them. Oh, say, friend. You look pretty quick on your feet. Uh, sure. <laughs> oh, yeah. I had a feeling about you. Now, how'd you like to do a job for me? You just need to collect materia you find on the street. It's really easy. Won't take long at all. All right, let's get started. To make things easier for you, 
I asked everyone in the neighborhood to stay indoors. So use those fast legs and go get some. Okay. Um, see how quickly you can collect tw uh, the 20 materia that are scattered throughout town. I see you found all 20 ma- <laughs> Wow, you were quick. I knew I saw something in you. So anyway, here's what you earned. 80 gil in pay. All right, come by again. There's always more work. You were really hustling. Nice work. Although, I guess if we didn't do all of the other missions, then, you know, being able to, like, pay for the uh, perfume or whatever, you know might have been a little bit more challenging, so I'm assuming that's probably what these were for. Oh, Aerith. Here with your boyfriend today? Mm -mm. I just met him. Hey, weren't you chasing a kid around here earlier? I heard about you from the local townsfolk. I thought you were some shady outsider, but it looks like you're a decent guy. Sorry I misjudged you. Here, take this olive branch. <laughs> okay. Uh, Soma, high potion. I have to cool. say, though, Aerith, you found yourself a pretty nice fella. No, no. Not a boyfriend. I just met him today. Oh, wait. Could we take a look? Huh? You came out to go shopping? Okay, forget it. Uh, 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 no, no, I'm joking. Go take a look. Thank you. Just a look. I'll be quick. Do you like this store? Yeah. It's fun just looking. Hey, Aerith. Uh-huh? To pay you back for that hello, I'll buy you something. <laughs> Your offer was one date. No? But then you said, don't be silly, remember? Well, I... Okay, a memento. For today. You mean it? Of course. <laughs> okay. I want this. Alright, it's yours. Hold on. How's that? Does it look right? Uh, I think so. Yeah, it looks great. Oh, that's... Thank you, Zach. I'll treasure this. Yeah. Hey, do you still have time? I guess so. Why? Wanna go to the park? Hey, that sounds like a date. Yeah. Uh... I think there's one more person to do some stuff for, so... Before we go yeah. to the park, could you give me one minute? Yeah, of course. God, Zack must have really imprinted on her, considering, you know, all of the moves that she basically puts on Cloud. And I kind of find that sort of funny. Hey, step right up, mister! Welcome to the number guessing game. We've got a lot of great prizes lined up today. Want to play? Oh, the guy with the potions. I heard what <laughs> happened. I'm sorry. At least he remembers. I can't give you your stuff back, but instead, I'll let you play my game for cheap. <sighs> All right. Thanks, kid. Hey, Aerith. Are you going out with this guy? Well, I guess it's okay with me, but... <laughs> really? Okay, back to business. It's a hundred gil per play, but I'll give you a discount, mister. Oh, I bet you the more potions we gave him, the more of a discount there would be. Uh, sure. Okay, the way you play this game is... You pick a number from one to six. 
of the six people who walk by this store, that number is how many you think will be kids. Yeah, uh, if the we're number gonna go you five. Chose matches the number of kids who pass by here, you win and you get the big prize. By the way, today's big prize is this. High potion. Okay, uh, of the people who pass by, Zach, guess how many children? You need guilt to play, but if you guess correctly, you'll receive a prize. If you can prove your odds by hearing other people's predictions, so perhaps you should ask around. Uh, you know what? I'll try it once, but uh, we have a lot of... Uh, okay, maybe not a lot. We have plenty of potions and stuff. Eric, why don't you choose the number? So, yeah. Me? Hmm. All right, then. One and, two and, three and, five, maybe? Those are the numbers that I like. But you make the final choice. Hmm, those are interesting choices. I have a good feeling about those, too. Mister, I think maybe you should take her advice. Aerith has good instincts. Oh, by the way, for a few extra gill, I can give you three numbers that I believe have a good chance of winning. All right, why not? Four and, five and, six, I think. Today's number has got to be one of those. I was kind of planning on going with five anyway, so... But you have to make the final <laughs> yeah. call. Now... All right, then. We're ready to begin counting now. Hey, and there we go. <laughs> I was honestly thinking about five from the beginning anyway, so... Hey, kind of funny how that job, works. Mister. You got it right. This is today's prize. It's not often we have these in stock. All right, come again soon. There'll be more items for you to win. Okay, we've done a little bit of everything, so... Um... Wait, do we just... Leave? Uh, ready to go to the park? Absolutely. Come on, let's go. So, ever meet any soldier members? Maybe. Do you think that they're happy? What do you mean? Heroes to children. Protectors of the peace. But... They're not normal. They get some kind of special surgery. Don't they? So they say. Normal is best. I think so. At least. Nah, normal's boring. Those soldier people are kind of... weird. They're... weird, huh? And they're... scary. They fight. And they love it. She's not putting two and two together, is she? Actually, I'm with Soldier. <gasps> I'm sorry. So pretty. The face? <laughs> the eyes. <laughs> Smooth. You like them? Then take a closer look. Eyes infused with Mako energy. A soldier trademark. Oh, you. <laughs> Color of the sky, right? Uh-huh. But not scary at all. I'll admit, things haven't been normal at all lately. What about you, Aerith? How's your life going? <laughs> I was thinking it would be a normal day. But then suddenly, some guy fell out of the sky. That's not all that bad. Zach, 
Return to the Shinra building now. Genesis has attacked us. <sighs> On my way. I'm sorry, but duty calls. Well, I guess I should get going then. Will I see you again? Of course. I hope that your friend's okay, Zack. Huh? You talk in your sleep. Yeah. It'll be fine. I know that now. To get to the Shinra building, I have to go through the market, they said. Uh, more useful tips. Hollander's T-shirt. It seems Hollander's favorite T-shirt is one with the logo of Benora's famous canned apples. Can a guy love apples that much? Or do you suppose he has other ties to Benora? Apparently, with all of the confidential information they handle, guys in the science department aren't allowed to leave the company, even if they screw up or lose it out in a rat race. And that puts them under a lot of stress. Maybe Hollander's t-shirt helps him relieve some of that, huh? Is that... Uh... Yeah, sure, yeah. <laughs> Let's go with that. Obtain the fusion tome. Item fusion tome. Uh, okay, that's a mission reward. Cactus Thorn. Uh, that is another mission reward. All right. But yeah, I can't help but feel that, like, Zach must have really imprinted on Aerith, considering that later, like, she basically pulls all of those same exact moves on Cloud. Huh. Looks like we've got more monsters. All right. Increasing accessory slots. If you acquire the items below, you can increase the number of accessories you can equip. Uh, Keychain and backpack. Ooh. I feel like I kind of... Uh, maybe not need them. But God, I would really like them. So you know what? Maybe I'll just go do a bunch more missions real quick. Wait a minute. How do I... How, how do I pull that thing back up? Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. That might have been... That wasn't a male, it was just a... other thing. Which means I... have no idea. I want to say it was M8. Also, I, 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 I'm sorry, I'm really curious who this might be. Uh, this message is from someone who claims to be the Treasure Princess. You can apparently meet this person if you head for the planes. Please, go there and confirm the information's accuracy. Eh, you know what? Why not? Oh, wait, this is the Chocobo Ranch! <laughs> okay, that's actually kind of cool. How they, like, recreated it. All right, looks like that's the last of the monsters. Now, where's that treasure? Ah, found it. What? For one of treasures kept secret. Oh my God. Ugh. Of course. Two, to deliver dreams to her homeland. Ugh. Three, make way, cause here she comes. I'm the treasure princess, hear me roar. Hey, you're that weird kid I met in Wu Tai. Sucker! <laughs> what were you expecting? You soldier perv! What? I'm no sucker, and I'm certainly no perv. My name is Zach. So, what are you, lost or something? You want me to take you home? I'm not lost! I'm here to take your treasure! All of it! For the glory of Wu Tai! Get ready! Of course. Hey, why don't you just admit that you're lost? Be honest. 
treasure quest. <laughs> Failed. <laughs> Wait, I made her cry? Did I do something wrong? Should I have humored her little game a bit more? Also, who the heck is she? She pickpocketed us, didn't she? Chocobo's m Chocobo has been added to the DMW, hell yeah. But at the same time, you know, the whole thing about treasure, I, I probably should have assumed it was a Yuffie. Anyway, I can't help but feel like we should probably go do all of these. And who knows, maybe just because, uh, again, it's Yuffie. Actually, these quests might actually mode. have a little bit more character, I suppose. So maybe I should at least record these. Just in case. Oh, would you look at that? We got an Odin. I was actually kind of hoping that I could just let this run to, you know, hopefully level up some materia. Let me give you a hand with the flowers. No, it's fine. These flowers, they only want to be tended to by me. Seriously? Oh my god, we just got another Odin. I was also really curious if those, you know, like, leveled up, if you got multiple of the same. Okay, you know what? I don't think this is getting anywhere. Let's just it. use Odin. Because, <laughs> you know, why not? It's metal as fuck, and it is complete overkill, considering we could probably just kill this thing in one more hit anyway. So why not? Oh, yeah. All right. Looks like that's the last of the monsters. Now, where's that treasure? Ah, found it. Zoom, 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 zoom. Ha. Zoom, 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 zoom. Yeah. She got me. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Still got the barrier, though. The orders this time, from you-know-who, are to look for treasure in the plains. We know you're only going along with her to make up for making her cry. She's probably playing you, but if that's okay with you, head for the plains. Osmos enables magic that steals MP from enemy. Wait, and it costs zero? Ooh. I mean, if we start getting into battles that are you know, uh, actually taking some time, or maybe Activate like boss battles. Mode. That might actually be really, really good. Oh yeah! All right, looks like that's the last of the monsters. Now, where's that treasure? Ah, found it! And here she goes again. What? Seriously? <sighs> She got me. Wonderful. <laughs> Kate Sith, courage boost. Cool. Our treasure princess seems quite upset, though it's obviously not her place to get mad. She's the one providing faulty information. But if you can act the grown up and not get cross with her, you can head for the underwater caves. <laughs> All right. <laughs> God, the context is also just really funny, considering, you know, she's basically dedicated to bringing Shinra down. So the fact that, like, she just keeps spamming Shinra with emails for jobs is actually really funny. All right. Looks like that's the last of the monsters. Now, where's that treasure? Ah, found it. <laughs> oh, not again. Ugh, little brat. <laughs> <sighs> and I love the fact that, like, they're not even being shy about the fact that, you know, Zack is just kind of playing along. If for some reason, that just makes it so much funnier. The treasure princess is threatening to fire you. 
<laughs> it must be welcome news for you, but we should make an effort to defend soldiers' honor. We suggest you head for the coal mines, if only for that reason. Oh, wait, we actually have... I was not reading any of these. You passed the test, so now you're my ally. And as my ally, you better start working. Somewhere in the ravine, there's supposed to be a treasure hidden by Shinra's accounting department. Go dig that sucker up. The boss's orders always stand, and I'm the boss. Naturally. You have no right to refuse. Got it? Good luck. God, Yuffie is just... Well... She's just always been a little shit, hasn't she? <laughs> Uh, that buried chest a bit, that chest buried by the accounting department had nothing but a receipt inside, and I blame it on you. You'd better find a real treasure this time. Upset face. Somewhere out there in the fields, there's supposed to be a treasure hidden by Shinra's PR department. Go find it. I hear there's lots of nasty monsters in the area, but I'm sure you'll be alright if you're careful. Good luck. I love how this is all going to the spam file, too. Special assignment. What's with the PR department's thinking? Nothing but a public relations magazine inside a chest? I want a real treasure this time. Very upset face. Somewhere in the marine caves, there's supposed to be a treasure hidden by Shinra's HR department. Go find it. You can bet there's lots of nasty monsters in this area, but I'm positive you're used to that by now. This one better be a good one, or else... Orders. There's nothing but a roster inside that HR chest. Ah, oh, this is making me so mad. Very, very upset face. If you botch this next one, you're fired, Buster. Somewhere out in the cold mines, there's supposed to be a treasure hidden by Shinra's secretaries. Find it, but this isn't going to be easy. I'd say that you'd better be prepared for the worst. Then again, you could die before you're prepared. The coal mines are famous for having really mean monsters inside. Ah, oh, God. She's just been a little shit from youth. Oh, yeah! Result. All right. Looks like that's the last of the monsters. Now, where's that treasure? Ah, found it! Gotcha! <laughs> oh, that little brat! She thinks because I feel bad for making her cry, she can do whatever? Next time I see her, she's gonna pay! Letter of Challenge Nasty pictures, ew, sickos. Are Shinra employees trained to put trash in their treasure chests? Tongue sticky out face. That's it, everyone in Shinra is gonna get it someday. Somewhere in the marine caves, there's supposed to be a treasure hidden by Shinra's science department, and I'm taking it. If you don't want me to take it, come and claim it. I challenge you to a duel, winner takes all. It's go time. Oh, Yuffie. <laughs> Although it would be kind of funny if she turned out to be like a super boss. You know, like this game's equivalent of like a uh, ruby and emerald weapon from the original. You have more orders and a challenge to a duel from our treasure princess. We've had quite enough of this child. So if you're fe as fed up with her as we are, head for the underwater caves and tell her off. Well, I don't really want to fight her. But I guess we'll see how this goes. Also, I do need to be kind of careful because this is going to be, I think, higher level than anything else I've done in this so far. Oh, and the DMW is sky high. Hell yeah. All right. You can go on ahead. I'll handle things here. <laughs> Did you say something? Let's move on. God, I love that. Some of those are actually, like, really, really good. Conflict resolved. Oh, yeah. Ooh, four slots. I wonder how that's going to work in this. All right. Looks like that's the last of the monsters. Now, where's that treasure? Ah, found it. One. Through the embers of a war, not one. Uh, Two. To restore her homeland's glory. Three, up from the rubble and ash. <clears throat> the treasure princess is here at last. Huh. Yes, at last. Wu-Tai's goat ninja, Yuffie Kisaragi. 
How long has goat been around as, like, slang? But was that actually, like, in the original? It'd be kind of funny hey, if it you was. stop doing this. You could get hurt. I'm humoring you, but not everyone is as understanding. Silence! For Wu Tai's glory, I'm taking all your treasure. Get ready! Okay, fine. You steal treasure, but you should really work on your technique. You're still too green to take anything from me. <laughs> treasure quest... <laughs> failed. You know, if you have to steal, develop better methods. Oh, great. I made her cry again. Well then, I'll have to play along again. Oh. How did she get my mail address? That's a very good question. Now that I think about it. Anonymous, just between you and me. I can't tell you my name, but I know something of interest to you. I heard there's a secret item somewhere in the fields. If this got into the hands of anti-Shinra group, Shinra would be finished. I suggest you find it before it's too late. <laughs> Alright. I can't help but feel like that's going to be a trap. Anyway, now that we've got that, I really need to end this recording. Like, I might have only done a few missions, but that was like an hour and a half. Actually, in a few seconds it'll be an hour and 40 minutes.